What is going on, you guys? Before we jump into the video, one quick reminder, the full web hosting course is still available for pre-order. It goes live January 1st. So if you haven't purchased that yet, be sure to click the link down in the description, grab that now because it's gonna go up in price after January 1st. Let's talk really quickly about what it takes to start a web hosting company. I'll give you a 30 second synopsis on what this is because I've got lots of other videos on my channel talking about that. In fact, I've got a whole playlist talking about how to do this completely for free and I'll link that up here and also in the description below. But essentially what I do is it's a way that I earn passive income. I, I rent a server from a company, I host a bunch of different websites on that for clients and then I charge those clients for a monthly hosting fee. The great thing is I can put as many websites on a single server as I want. I have a low monthly rent fee, which is typically around 35-ish dollars or so. But right now on my server, I've got 80 clients. All of them are paying anywhere from $15 all the way up to $75. I think I have some clients at. So that's what makes this so awesome. There's a super low barrier to entry. Uh, the, the cost is minimal and it can make thousands of dollars per month just hosting websites. I mean, you essentially become the, the GoDaddy or the Bluehost or the HostGator for yourself and you cut out the middleman, but you get to keep the profits for yourself. So it's really, really lucrative. I think it's a great deal. I've been doing this for years and here on YouTube, I teach people how to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. So with all that being said, if, if you're kind of new to this, you're not really sure what it all in, like kind of involves and entails, again, go check out that, uh, that free playlist that I have here on YouTube. It'll walk you through step-by-step step how to do a lot of this, but I'm gonna show you how to set this up and do this really quick in under 10 minutes. Okay, so to get started, you wanna click the link down in the description, uh, which I'll leave right here. It's brycejmatheson.com forward slash web hosting. That's gonna take you to this website. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna click on reseller web hosting because that's what we're gonna be doing. We're going to be reselling web hosting using this company. So click here. And then underneath that, you're going to have all of the different plans. Now, obviously, the more you pay, the more you can get. But starting out, you don't really need to pay for all of that. So what I did when I started out was I used the Kickstart plan. And I, you know, they've actually renamed a lot of these. So the Kickstart plan was, I think it was the, the bronze package back, back when I was just starting to do this. It's essentially the same thing. So the, the differences between these, uh, the different plans is, is the number of, uh, of storage. So the amount of storage that you get in gigabytes and also the bandwidth, which is the transfer. And if you click over here, you can also see there's additional stuff. Most of the time, you don't really need that. The other thing that, that varies is the amount of cPanel accounts, the amount of websites that you can host on an individual server. So for example, the Kickstart plan, you may only be able to host 20 websites, but if you're on the scale plan, you can host all the way up to 80 or, or whatever it is. Um, the reason that we're using this company, A2 Hosting, is because they offer good speeds, great customer service at a reasonable price. Um, I can't stand Bluehost or HostGator or any of these other companies. They're slow, they're bloated, they're, I don't know, they're just, they're not very good. So this is the company that we're gonna use. So once you've decided what plan you want, and you, you can click here and say compare plans. So, so you can, um, drill down and see the different plans and you can see here that the kickstart plan allows you to have 20 accounts The scale plan allows you to have 75 accounts and obviously the ones in between will give you you know varying amounts But the nice thing is you can start with the kickstarter plan It's really cheap and then you can scale up you can increase your server as you grow So this is why I said it's such a great business model because you can start small You don't have to pay a ton of money up front if you don't want to you can just get started really cheap and then scale up your server server as you have need. So let's go ahead and just say get kickstart. At this point, it's going to ask you for a domain. If you don't already have a domain to kind of run your hosting company, uh, you can register a new name here. I, I personally like Namecheap. Uh, I just think they're a better company. Most of the time they're cheaper. Um, so I'll leave a link down in the description right there where you can purchase the domain if you want. Um, but I, most of the time, that's what I recommend is buy it through Namecheap and then we're going to use it with A2 hosting, or you can use an existing domain that you already have. In this case, I'm going to assume that you've bought a domain through Namecheap or some other company. And so we'll just say, I'll use my existing domain. Uh, I'm just gonna say uh, brycewebhosting.com. I don't actually own this domain, but it, it's fine for the purposes of our demo, it'll be fine. So we'll say that and say use. It should come and say, great, that we can use that. Now, 
the one thing you'll notice is, whoa, you look at this price and you're like, holy cow, I thought it was $18.99. That's the only downside is they give you a discount if you buy everything up front in bulk. It's okay if you don't wanna spend $700. I don't blame you either. When I was starting out doing this, I didn't have this much money to spend and I also wasn't super committed. I didn't know if there was something that I for sure wanted to do. So if you click here, you can see uh, you get that $18.99 a month rate for 36 months if you buy it all up front. Again, I, I realize most people don't have that much money. It's okay, you can click here and if you want, you can just get the one month price but of course you don't get the discount. So maybe if you want, you can get like the six month price, it'll be a little bit cheaper. If you choose the 12 month price, it'll be a little bit cheaper. I really wish they wouldn't do this, but even having saying that, I still think they're a really good company. So if you don't have a lot of money, you don't wanna spend a ton on this, or you're not really sure if this is like something that you absolutely want to do, just start out with the, the one month plan, it's okay, and then you can move on from there. As we move down, just ignore this, Most you don't need the turbo. Um, the other thing is we don't need a dedicated IP address. Don't pay for that either. Um, just use the free SSL, which is more than fine for the majority of your clients. The last thing we want to do is we want to choose where our server is going to be located. So we can either choose Michigan, Arizona, Amsterdam, or Singapore. My, uh, my server is actually located in Michigan because I have a lot of clients on the East Coast. So I want my server to be located as close geographically to my clients as I can. Let's say you're in the United States and you're either on the West Coast or you're in the central United States, then maybe you would wanna choose Arizona because that's gonna be closer to your clients. The closer your server is to your clients, the faster your websites are going to load, you're not gonna have as much latency. If you don't live in the USA like I do, you can also choose Amsterdam or you can also choose Singapore you know, if those are closer to you geographically. So choose your server for this, I'll just say Michigan, and then we'll say continue. Then from here, it's just gonna give you a brief overview, make sure everything looks good, and then you'll say check out. And then at this point, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, go and put in your information, credit card, all that kind of stuff. And then once you're done, you'll scroll down here and say complete order. Okay, once you have your server purchased and everything, you're going to want to go into your dashboard and click on the link that says WHM. This is your web hosting manager and this is the screen that we're looking right at right now. You can see we're in WHM. Now within WHM, you can see a, a listing and I'm gonna blur out a decent amount of this just to protect my client information, but um, you'll see all of these different websites that I host for different clients. These are clients that I've had for a while. They've just been trucking along. And the great thing is that once I have their hosting, most of the time they don't switch. They stay with me for a while. So let's just briefly go through and show you how to set up a new website. Of course, you have to own the domain before you can do this, but then you're gonna click on create a new account. And for this, we're just gonna say uh, brycetest.com. The username, this is gonna be the username to the C panel. You can change this to whatever you want. Bryce test is fine. I'm gonna put in a you know, password. I'll just say test one, two, three, four, and test one, two, three, four. Please do something that's stronger than that, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say none at none.com. Choose a package. Um, I've got other videos talking about how to set up packages. That's very basic. I also explain it more in depth in my course if you're interested. Choose a package. All of these are fine, standard and we'll say create. It's gonna go through behind the scenes and do a bunch of different stuff. It's going to uh, run some scripts and different things. It's almost gonna look like it's not doing anything, but I promise you behind the scenes it is, so just be a little bit patient. Once it's done, you can see here, everything is good, everything's ready to go. You can click on go to cPanel and you have a website now for brycetest.com or whatever your domain is. Obviously, you're gonna to have to set up name servers and a couple different things, but at this point, you're ready to hand it over to the client. They can install WordPress, they can upload files they want if they want to uh, set up databases or custom scripts or, you know what, you name it, they can do whatever you want. And the great thing is you're just handling the hosting. So we bought our server, we set up a website for them. You give them the username and the password to the cPanel account, and then you let them go crazy. You can have them do everything that they want, and you just handle the hosting. The great thing is that we're really just reselling this hosting when A2 hosting is the one that's really doing all the work for us. They manage the server, they manage the security, they manage the updates. That makes our life so much easier.
Now, one last pro tip is if you wanna make even more money, you can build the website for the client as well. And I do that all the time. A lot of times it's hard to get just the hosting contract unless you know someone who just doesn't have a website right now. Oftentimes I'll try and sell websites to people who either don't have a website at all and I end up building it or creating it for them. Or two, I find a client who has kind of an old ghetto outdated website and I offer to revamp it for them, refresh it, rebuild it and then I move their website over to my server so I can get the residual hosting. So that, in a nutshell, is how to start your own web hosting company. Of course, there's a lot of different facets to this, you know, like dealing with clients and billing and setting all that kind of stuff up. Um, again, definitely go ahead and check out this link because I talk about all of that stuff more in detail. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer anything. There's a lot to this, but it is so lucrative. You can make a ton of money doing this, earning passive income by just reselling other services and cutting out Bluehost, HostGator, GoDaddy, or a plethora of other web hosting companies. So let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, I, there's a lot to cover, so it's really not possible to do it all in one video, but this is how I started a web hosting company. You essentially can be your own company right now because you have a server and you can host cPanel accounts and websites on it and you can get rolling. So again, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.